okay dear students let us see what is there in this question a train traveling in a straight line emits a sound of constant frequency f an observer at rest very close to the path detects a sound of continuously decreasing frequency the train is approaching the observer at constant speed approaching the observer at increasing speed moving away at constant moving away at increasing speed so the speed is not decreasing it means anyways <laughs> so um so there are two cases my dear students in these kind of questions that we are going to see one case is when the train is approaching and the another case is when the train is moving away so these two are different cases we have to take them differently so let us uh, go for case number one and we say that the train is approaching the observer so this is the train and this is the sound so this is the observer and train is approaching the sound is also moving in positive direction train is also moving in positive direction the observer is not moving so the frequency is f but the frequency heard here is f double dash so f double dash is equal to f into um c minus the velocity of observer divided by c minus the velocity of the source this is how i uh, write these uh, formulas it's not f double dash is f dash my dear students sorry for the mistakes yeah so this is how i do it i just take a sign convention here that all of the bodies moving in positive direction is positive and all the velocities moving in the negative direction is negative just plug in the values with the sign convention and you will get the right answer so now in this case the first case the observer is not uh, moving so observer is zero and only this is thing is happening so my dear students constant speed so let us first of all understand what is constant speed try to understand if like the speed of sound is not going to change the speed of source is also constant that is the condition that we are now imposing on it if vs is constant c is constant f is constant it means that f dash will be a constant value whether the f dash increases or whether f dash will be lesser than the original frequency it will have a constant value if the train is moving at a constant speed now if train is not moving at constant speed so first of all a is out of option and c is out of option they are not moving at constant speed it means so now we want this to be decreasing if f dash is to be decreasing the denominator should be increasing denominator is increasing it means vs is decreasing so the velocity of train is getting lesser so it means that if the train is approaching the observer it should be that the train is approaching the observer with a decreasing speed approaching the observer at increasing speed so b is also wrong it is approaching the observer at decreasing speed this is the case number one clearly this question is wrong let us now go to case number two that the train is moving away from the observer so this is the source now and uh, sorry the sound would be moving backwards because our listener is backward so sound is moving in backward direction the train is moving in the positive direction so now what is f dash let us see as per my formulas the sound is moving in the negative direction minus the velocity of observer observer is not moving minus the velocity of the source so velocity of source is uh, in the positive direction it would be taken positive so the negative can be taken common and your answer is coming out to be c divided by c plus v s so this is f dash my dear students f dash now let us see what is happening so now i want uh, the uh, frequency uh, to decrease f dash should be decreasing so if f dash is decreasing c plus v s should be increasing and which only means that vs should be increasing i'm coming again try to understand f dash is uh, decreasing f dash is decreasing it means the denominator should be increasing and which means c plus vs is increasing which means vs is increasing it means the train is moving away from the observer at increasing speed d option is cent percent correct and this is the cent percent explanation of the question my dear students the mark scheme says that the answer is d and yes the answer is correct so this is the true explanation of this question please subscribe to the youtube channel all the best bye